I am back and this is the second review. Now, if you're from Canada, you know the department store, Hudson's Bay, or it used to be called the Bay, right? So you got the Hudson's Bay bag right here. Now, I was amped that they even started carrying this brand and it's actually not that expensive. It's, actually, it's a high-end designer brand. You probably know of it, probably heard of it, right? You s probably see it on the runway, sh uh, you know, and like the red carpet and all this, all these celebrities wear and everything. I was surprised that they actually started offering it at an affordable price. I was like, normally this shit's really expensive, but I didn't pay that much for it. So. But, you know, you may be wondering what brand is it? There you guys go. Carl Lagerfeld. Yeah, you've probably heard people talking about this brand before. Carl Lagerfeld Paris. My first ever high end designer. You know, piece of clothing that I've ever technically. I, I do wear designer stuff from time to time, but it's like, you know, your regular designer stuff, but this is my first ever high-end designer piece of clothing I've ever bought. Now, this shirt right here is like this, like, deep burgundy color. Simple, you can't even tell it's Karl Lagerfeld, but, you know, it's just the gold print down the front. Then on the inside right here for a label. I like these type of labels. The regular labels that have stitched in piss me off because they, you know, they get kind of annoying. Like they scratch the back of your neck and they bother you. I like these ones that are printed on. These are better. They had this one. Biggest size was extra large. So I didn't know how Carl Lagerfeld clothing fit, but it does run true to size. So just letting you know ahead of time. Um, this one's extra large. This one fit like perfect. Uh, the other ones I ended up getting. I had to go 2x because I tried on large and it did not fit at all. And 2x is like a little bit looser. And that was the biggest size they had. So this is this one. And this shirt I actually got for a pretty good price. I paid only... Wow. It was 70% off. So retail was $65. I paid only $19.50 plus tax. So I paid like almost $23 I think for this shirt. So it's not half bad. Now the other ones were more expensive. Now this shirt. The fuck? Where do the other ones go? I had another one in here, but um Fuck, I have to find it, but somewhere around here. But it's the exact same as this one right here. This one really I just fell in love with. They didn't have many shirts to choose from the uh, the day I went, but here it is. It's just a gold KL on the front for Carl Lagerfeld, and then it says at the bottom, Harris. Super soft cotton, I think it's made out of. Now this one's 2X. It says right there, Carl Lagerfeld, Paris, and then it says 2X. So also that deep burgundy almost Bordeaux Jordan colorway. But that was my review for today, guys. I wish I could show you the black one. The black one looks exactly like that one. But just imagine that shirt, but black with that gold KL Paris logo on the front. But that was it. Nothing crazy. Thanks for watching, guys. Much love. Subscribe, like, and comment. And I will be back soon with more videos. So keep it locked. So please, you know, if you don't want to miss out on content like this, subscribe below. Leave a like and a comment. Hit that notification bell. It'll notify you every time I upload a new video. Follow me on all my social media platforms. But that was my video for today, guys. Take care. Peace. Enjoy the rest of your night. Love you guys. Keep supporting. Keep it locked. I'll be back.
with more content very soon. So we have big shit happening this year. Big shit is going to happen. And I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. I'm not going to say anything. But you're going to have to wait and see. Big things are coming this way. This channel is definitely going to go somewhere special. I want to see where it is at by the end of this year. As you can see, I got all these sneaker boxes at the back right here. I'm actually going to be moving them into a different room because I don't I'm running out of um, room in my bedroom, so yeah. So these will not be here any longer. These will actually be in a different bedroom. But yeah, I got boxes in my closet. I got shoes sitting down here. And uh, I got shoes sitting downstairs. I'm actually selling off a few pairs in the next couple of days. So to clear out some space, make some extra pocket change. Uh, tomorrow's payday, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, it's going to be sick. But yeah, I'm going to have, you know, like I said in my last video, I'm going to have a camera soon. So of course it will be a little bit different um i i don't know you guys let me know what camera is better i'm having a tough time deciding for a dslr canon nikon or sony they're all good brands they're like you know really well known um i work with a few photographers and they say that the largest lens selection right now on the market canon and nikon offer now i don't want to spend too much but the best deal I'm finding right now, I actually found a Canon Rebel T6 open box. So someone had bought it and returned it. But uh, Best Buy .ca for four, I think it was like four sixty, which isn't bad. I would say it's pretty good because that's less than what I paid during Boxing Week. But that's why I canceled my order. So, um. Yeah, I might end up getting that one. Or I'm just going to look around. But uh, I do plan on getting a mirrorless uh, camera down the road uh, for something portable. Uh, there's this one, this Canon that I'm looking at. It's pretty good. It's like, it's expensive. It's, I think like 600 or 800. I'm not too sure. But yeah, it has a little part on the top that you can mount your mic on. So if you're vlogging and you know take it on the go uh, i do have uh tripods like the portable ones the joby gorilla pods the full size ones the one that all the youtube sneaker vloggers use actually i was looking into getting one of those i went to a local store and i was like okay how much would honestly one of these set me back they're fucking 250 dollars just for that tripod i was like what I paid, actually, no, I, I overpaid. Uh, the Joby Gorilla Pod that I got from work, even with my discount, I paid $60 for it, I believe. No, $40, actually. I paid $40 for it. I ended up going on clearance afterwards for, I think it was $15. I was like, and that was months after. So I couldn't even return it, even with my receipt, because past the return policy. I was like, fuck, like, if I had waited, I could have got it for... $35, oh, well, no, not $35, $25 less than what I paid retail, so that was a bit of a disappointment and a bit of a piss off for me, but, um, yeah, but I definitely will have a drone soon, so you will be seeing over the city views, uh, will be doing on the go vlogs, I will be probably getting a place of my own down the road you know I'm, i i want to see what it's like you know living on my own you know and shit like that but that was my video for today's guys so keep watching keep supporting keep it locked don't forget to subscribe i can't say it enough I don't want to sound desperate, but I just want, I'm not being desperate. I'm just being honest with you. My goal is to get this channel as fucking big as possible. So smash the shit out of the subscribe button below. I'll really appreciate the love and support. Just smash the fucking shit out of it. Don't hesitate. 
just finesse it finesse the bell leave a like leave a comment down below and i'll really appreciate your love and support and i'll get back to you as soon as possible follow me on all my social media platforms keep supporting and i know we can get there because this is a dream of mine i want to see this channel go somewhere in the future in the long run i want to be able to go to sneaker con in the future i want to be able to go to soul exchange and all that stuff you know it will take time and time is precious and i'm willing to wait i'm not trying to rush it but i know we can get there so please 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 you know subscribe and i will be doing a sneaker photo shoot soon so i'm gonna make like a intro trailer to my channel so you will be seeing like my weekly uh my uh weekly rotation i'm sorry i kind of stuttered there kind of screwed up but uh my weekly sneaker rotation like uh like what shoes i wore throughout the week so i will be doing those you know pretty often like i'll be doing like weekly sneaker rotation one two and just so forth and further do like you know just like it, it will go up in the hundreds probably later on but you know, I'll be spitting them out, like, I'll be doing, like, one day, like, Jordans, one day this, one day that, so we'll just keep going. And I think I might get into rocking Staple Pigeon. They make some sick collabs. Um, there are these Pumas. I know Puma's not hyped really right now, but they made some sick, extremely comfortable Pumas. Um, they use the trinomic uh, cushioning system in them, and their resale isn't that bad. I was looking at getting a pair off of eBay. Uh, I fit a 10 in some Pumas, just like A6, Saucony, and New Balance, so and Adidas. Um, so yeah, they're dope. They're like gray and like a salmon pink. They're pretty sick. Uh, they made some staple pigeon um, Puma suede's, the Puma Clydes also. They made uh, some, I think they made Nike Duel racers, I think they're called. But yeah, they made a few collabs that I'm interested in. I might get into off-white collabs, but, you know, down the road. But see you guys later. Take care. Peace. I'm in. I'm out. Bye.